from an engineering perspective, what developments do you see in the future of the uh, in regarding, for example, electric aircraft, so vertical takeoff and landing, hypersonic? Um, let's talk about these different things that are being developed for the future. Where do you see it going? Let's 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 start with the electric aeroplane. I see them all going electric. I know there's a, a massive problem at the moment with fumes throughout the world. They, they seem to have a lot of fume, fume cases that you're getting quite sort of uh, uncomfortably high in numbers in certain parts of the world, I hasten to add. It doesn't seem to be consistent across the world. I think with the electric aeroplane, as the 787 has clearly proven, it's an electric air conditioning system. It's completely independent of the engines. So you are no longer breathing the engine air. You're not bleeding air off the engine and then pumping it through the cabin. With an electric aeroplane, it's all being driven through electric fans, electric induction systems, and straight up into the cabin, which to me has always been fairly, I would have thought, logical anyway, and a, a natural progression. You also have the, the uh, old flight decks with the thousands and thousands of gauges and dials. Every one of those has to be maintained in their own right. You put them into updated LCD screens, liquid uh, or CRT screens or such like, then again, your reliability is being increased and being improved. You can do far more with that. You have a lot more interchangeability, a lot more uh, greater interface between the aircraft. It takes a lot of electric, uh, a lot of manuals, a lot of the paperwork out of the flight deck, out of the cabin, and puts it into an electronic mode. However, you've then got to be able to have that fundamental case of what happens if you have an electric failure. You've got to then be able to have a paper form backup or some other form of backup. I know they look at the iPad as being a prime mm. candidate as the alternative backup. You've got to make sure you have an alternative backup power supply to ensure the reliability of your backup iPad. So mm. there's certain conditions, certain contingencies that you obviously need to make sure are there. But again, working on this electronic side with the moving to the future, it's increasing your opportunity to do so much more. Yeah, but battery um, isn't, isn't the battery the issue at the moment. We need to have a battery that can power an aircraft for 10 hours, for example. Absolutely, yes. I know they're looking at uh, the lithium ion batteries at the moment, they are the greatest reliability however there are shortfalls as we've we yeah. identified with the 787 but they're getting it right that wasn't actually a battery problem that was more of a stowage issue as okay. far as the battery was concerned so lithium ion batteries as time goes on their reliability is being proven and their amplitude and application is becoming far more user friendly to coin a phrase so, well when do you think we'll get electric aircraft becoming common like kerosene well, today is it five, I, I, 10 years away, 20 years away? What, what do you think? I think we're close. I think about seven, eight years would be a very realistic time frame that you will be able to have an electric aircraft that will be self-perpetuating. Once, uh, once it's in the air, it will naturally turn under its pure inertia. And what about vertical takeoff and landing? How, how do you see that? There seems to be a lot of new projects with vertical takeoff and landing, and a lot of them are electric as well. Yeah. I, hybrids. From a personal perspective, I, I see that may not seem a fair statement to make but i see that almost illogical mm -hmm. how the electric side can match a pneumatic vertical takeoff and landing because obviously the pneumatic is going to produce far more power which you require for that vertical takeoff and the control mm -hmm. through the landing if you're electrically driving that at such a slow speed then obviously you want to put a lot of power and drain a lot of power into creating that sufficient pneumatic power to do so. Right now, I, I can't see that we're at that point from yeah. a vertical takeoff and landing perspective. I can see it from a natural well, sort of long runway. I mean, if, if you're carrying two or three passengers like these drones and that, then yes, but if you're gonna carry other people, then yeah. Yeah, 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 you need a lot of power to spring exactly. that thing up vertically. And you haven't got the inertia or the kinetic energy available to do that at that point from an electric power from my perspective, certainly. Yeah, okay, what about hypersonic? You, 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 well, uh, supersonic and hypersonic. We, we see yeah. projects, we've got Boom Aerospace, we've got Aerion with the AS2, we've got Lockheed Martin talking about doing stuff, Goldstream is, and the Japanese are working on something, and I should imagine the Chinese are cooking something in the background somewhere. <laughs> Without anybody knowing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it's certainly the way to go. It, it's really where they want to be. Having worked Concord myself for many years, it's, it's a very sort of close affinity to when that aircraft was grounded by Airbus. You seem to be taking a step back in time. However, yeah. now there's a lot of more concepts going on, but the, the problem is being able to have the engines accepting air at a supersonic speed. Yeah. That, that's that's the, the, the holding point. As soon as you can control that air entering the engines, because they don't like supersonic speed 
air entering engines once you've overcome that hurdle i think the world's our oyster that's all from me on this episode if you haven't already subscribed to this channel please subscribe and share this video and uh, that's all from bad poly at bizchat tv and i'll see you in the next one